The Fort Lauderdale Lions are the most storied team in the history of the Grid League. They have the most championships, are tied for the most playoff appearances, two former MVPs, and a deep roster of some of the biggest stars in the league, led by arguably the most experienced coach in the history of the sport. While 2023 has been business as usual for the Lions in many ways, there are some extremely talented teams standing in the way of their fourth championship, and they did not end the regular season with the best record in the league. In the first season ever of the Florida Grid League, the Lions were far from their current form of glory. Established by Courtney Carney in 2017, the Lions went winless in year one but turned it around quickly in 2018 by building around that year's MVP Eric Cardona and ending up in the championship as big underdogs to the previous year's champ, the Tampa Bay Brigade. They pulled out the big upset to clinch their first championship in thrilling fashion. Even though they missed the playoffs in 2019, that year was an important one to their legacy. This marked the first year Venezuelan players Emiliana Guerra and Laura Sanchez joined the team. They would become staples on the female roster. In addition, Mario Satanella began to emerge, coming from a player struggling to make the roster to one of the top male utility players in the league. With the 2020 season condensed to a single weekend at the end of the year due to the pandemic, the Lions snagged their second title against the new, but quickly rising, Gainesville Wild. After a tough season missing the playoffs in 2021, they received another big injection of talent in former MVP Paula Lays and top-end female strength specialist in Chelsea Sellers. The Lions were now deeper than ever, but the 2022 season proved that many teams in the league were getting deeper and deeper with talent as well. Half of the matches came down to the last race, showing how even the matchups were, and the playoff picture in both conferences was not decided until the last regular season event where the Lions earned their third playoff berth. In a fitting championship match, the runner-up in the league the two previous years and showcasing their own pair of league MVPs in R.J. Hibbard and Sammy Nally, the Gainesville Wild, were taking on the Lions who were coming off a big win over the Southern Conference top seed, the South Beach Palms. The match was a back-and-forth battle with just a two-point spread heading into the sprint relay, which meant the entire season came down to a single race. The Lions proved victorious in that race and clinched their third championship to make them the winningest franchise in Gridley history. Entering this 2023 season, the defending champion Lions had retained nearly their entire championship roster and added some key strength specialist depth to boot in Eduardo Rodriguez and Stephanie Rubio. After some key mistakes in the first few races of the first match, the Lions found themselves in a deep six-point deficit behind their Southern Conference rival, the South Beach Palms. In the last four races, they battled back and stole a match W in the final race to start the year off as they hoped. Riding that late match momentum, they took down a beat-up Daytona Venom in the second match of that doubleheader event and started the season 2-0 before they clashed with one of the powerhouses in the North, the Orlando Aces. Every race with the Aces came down to seconds, and the smallest of mistakes on either side was making big impact. Heading into the sprint relay, the Aces had a three-point lead, which meant if the Lions were to win the race, it would take the match to gridlock, or grid league's version of overtime. The Lions did just that, and took the match to an extremely rare tie-break race featuring the last four elements of the sprint relay with no substitutions. Taylor Stallings proved her tremendous value in that race by quickly clean and jerking 200 pounds for two, while the Lions were forced to use a male for that element giving them a disadvantage in the rest of the race and sealing the match win for the Aces in dramatic fashion. Recovery from that loss was quick, with a big win despite missing head coach Jamie Gold against a scrappy Palm Beach Breakers in the Southern Conference regular season's final event. This left the Lions atop the Southern Conference with a 3-1 record and still the team to beat coming out of the South. Cross-region rival the South Beach Palms had beat them in the regular season in 2022 but suffered a big loss against them in the Southern Conference Finals. They entered the season with a few key members on the male side unable to re-sign but found some big-time replacements, including Brett Presley, who quickly put their male strength and closer role in a great position. 
They still touted two of the league's best on the female side in Briley Hansen and Heather Hudson and had a fiery drive to prove their place atop the South. After that tough loss to kick the season off against the Lions, the Palms rallied against a hot Palm Beach Breakers team in a tight match that was won in the sprint relay under unique circumstances in which a race could not be safely held due to a playing surface issue related to the venue's air conditioning system. In a grid league first, that race was postponed to a later date, but the Palms were still able to secure the win to start the season one and one. Their third match of the season was against one of the most talented teams in the league, out of the north in the Southwest Florida Sharks. To make matters worse for the Palms, team head coach and star utility player Briley Hansen was battling an elbow issue limiting her typical role in the match. After a few key Sharks mistakes and some Palms players effectively stepping up beyond their typical roles, the Palms stayed in the match and had a chance to take the win in the final sprint relay. That race was marred with controversy that led to new rules. However, the Sharks pulled out the win and sent the Palms to a 1-2 and two start, and with many questions about their ability to make the playoffs in 2023. They entered the final match in the regular season trailing the Palm Beach Breakers in the standings and missing their star rookie closer in Brett Presley. In a well-fought match against the Daytona Venom, they pulled out the win on the back of female roster strength and Marcus Washington stepping up to fill the closer role effectively. That win combined with a breaker's loss sealed the playoff berth for the Palms and another chance to face the Fort Lauderdale Lions in the playoffs. The Orlando Aces entered the season hungry after having the top regular season record in 2022 and suffering a tough loss in the Northern Conference Finals to the Gainesville Wild. They led in the majority of that match, including a peak lead of four points. They lost the last three races in a row, including the sprint relay, to take championship hopes away for the year. After a great offseason fortifying the roster and a thrilling win against the defending champions in their week one, the Aces would take on their nemesis in the North in week two and a team they had never beaten in six seasons in the Tampa Bay Brigade. In that match, team co-owner and coach Taylor Stallings would be facing her good friend and business partner, Jess Kresme, who is also a co-owner and leader on the brigade. The Aces built a lead early in the match, but the brigade pulled out an absolute thrilling comeback win in the Jack and Jill, on which they had thrown the bonus fly to keep them in the hunt. Ultimately, the Aces pulled out the match win and established a conference lead tie with the Sharks heading into the final match event. A doubleheader to determine the playoff picture, they would take on those same Sharks in the first match of the doubleheader. In a true clash of the Titans, the match was tight the whole way and featured many dramatic moments but would leave the Aces trailing for the first time all year heading into the sprint relay. They were down two points but had not yet used their bonus fly and threw it on that race to make it winner take all. After the first few elements, the Sharks had built a big lead. But in one of the great equalizing elements, the burpee to 9 foot 9 inch ring touch, Daryl McNeil caught the aces up and they took the lead in a dramatic turn of events. After that thrilling win, the aces had all but officially clinched their playoff berth. The last match of the day for the aces saw them firing on all cylinders and executing well against a beat up Gainesville Wild team and resulting in a very rare race sweep, an undefeated regular season and the top record in the league heading into the playoffs on November 3rd. Having just barely missed the playoffs by one point in 2022, the Southwest Florida Sharks were the talk of the league in the offseason, having acquired four core members of the Gainesville Wild, and in doing so, adding the sitting MVP in Sammy Nally to their already extremely talented roster featuring two-time bodyweight specialist of the year in Quentin Ambrosio, rookie of the year in Kristen Bonito, and strong veteran talent and leadership in Derek Anderson, Francisco Gomez, and Valerie Gunning. After the dramatic season opening win against the Palms, the Sharks would face the team that they had just acquired a large portion of their core talent from, the Gainesville Wild. The New Look Wild were featuring what appeared to be the best rookie duo in the league in Griffin Raleigh and Amanda Fisher. The match was emotional and hard fought, but the Sharks pulled it out and would match the aces in the standings as the top seed heading into the final match event of the year. After building the lead and sustaining a heartbreaking loss to the aces in the first match of the day, the Sharks were still in a good position, 
but needed a win against their longtime rival, the Tampa Bay Brigade. This historic matchup in the league was the very first matchup ever in the Florida Grid League in a small gym in 2017. Head coaches Chris Guerin and Nick Havich are friends and have been squaring off against one another for years, including a legendary handstand walk race between the two in that very first match. This match featured what might be considered the ringer point race of the year, including two of the fastest female bodyweight specialists in the league in Marissa Oxenford and Sharks rookie Chelsea Ranieri, who are also both former college gymnasts. The photo finish showed the Sharks split second race win, which would be one of many in a decisive match win to secure their spot in the playoffs and a rematch with the Aces for their chance to move on to the championship. Which team in the North will make the championship for the first time ever? Will anyone get in the way of the Lions? Who will emerge as the game-changing player, leaving their stamp on the legacy of their team and the Florida Grid League? There is only one way to find out. The championship event will take place on November 3rd and 4th with the conference finals on Friday afternoon and the championship match on Saturday at the legendary Mr. Olympia Expo at the Orange County Convention Center. The event will also feature the Kids Grid Championship and an all-levels match. Get more information and tickets at thefgl.com tickets.